Hey guys, Chris here. So right behind me, we have a 2020 Audi e-tron 55 Sport Pack. And if you saw my previous video, the review I did on this car, it is a brilliant, brilliant car. I love this car. I just love the way it looks and I love the way it drives, but it does have a few quirks, strange, weird, some annoying things about this. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of the annoying, strange, and weird things about this Audi e-tron. I covered this in my last video, and the weirdest thing about this car, the single most weird thing about this car are these virtual mirrors, which are just an arm out like that. Uh, it's supposed to help with range. Supposedly, you get 20 kilometers of extra range making this car more efficient, along with this being the Sportback, which is the most efficient version of the e-tron. You should get some gains, but I just can't get used to it. And I'm gonna show you guys why, because instead of looking out of the side window where the mirror usually is, you have to look a bit lower into the door. And it just weirds me out. I mean, on the motorway, it's okay, but parking is just super weird and super strange. You can see my hand right there just gauging distance is, is really impossible. And I usually, when parking in, you know, uh, in, in small parking spots where it's a tight fit, I use the mirror housing to gauge distance to, to a wall, to another car. But you look down here and then you have to look up at the mirror to see if you're close to the object. And then you have to look down to the, uh, at the screen again. It's, it's just very weird. And then you can touch, no, you can't do it. You, if you do it on the driver's side, you can touch the screen to move it around. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. But it's, it's just weird. I don't, I just can't get used to it. So you press here and then you can adjust it up and down. Yeah, maybe you have to sit inside the car and then you can adjust it. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me adjust it. I, I did, this, did this earlier, but this is just so weird. You look out there, that's where you usually look, and then you have to look down and then up and then down. Yeah, if you're considering the virtual mirrors, go ahead and test or drive a car with the virtual mirrors to see if you like it or if you don't like it. I don't recommend them, but yeah, it's, it's a gimmick, guys. Another weird thing about this car is this shifter. So it's, you, you do get used to it and it's actually very practical, but look at this huge thing here. So usually you would have like a shifter, you move backwards or forwards, but from this whole large contraption here, it's only this section you move. It's actually very intuitive, but it's just so weird and so different from every other car. So forward like that, two clicks to go to reverse, two clicks to go to drive, and then park on this side. But another weird thing is that when you start this car and you put it into drive, it shows drive up there in the gauge cluster, right? You can see drive there. But when it's in drive, you only have 360 horsepower and you have really slow response. A lot of people who come from Teslas and other EVs say this is feels very slow out of the box, but if you press it one more time backwards, you go into S and then you have the full 408 horsepower and then you have more response. I don't know why they've done this. I wish you could just, when you if you turn off the car in sport mode, because I always drive it in sport mode, I wish they just could just uh, have the car start in the mode you stopped it in. And also if you could see here you have like a meter. So if I go to drive, you can see the top portion there uh, isn't green because you don't have the full power. Yeah, it's just a weird way to do power and shifting. So the dashboard of this Audi e-tron has beautiful Valcona leather. You have beautiful aluminum. You know, you have these glossy black plastics. You have these anodized uh, buttons here. Everything is just super high quality piano black, uh, soft touch plastics, but here on the passenger side, you have this weird rubberized finish and you can see it's already damaged here on this press vehicle. But yeah, this is very, very weird. And you have one type of material here, or you have one type of material there, another type there, then some glossy plastics, 
and then this aluminum, and then you have this. You have so many different layers of, of materials. It's weird. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of glossy black plastics, piano black, because it gets really dusty and, and dirty. But why didn't they just go uh, this? Why didn't they just go black piano black plastics on the rest of this portion here? It, it's just weird, this material, because this is the only place in the whole car you find this material. And talking about materials, this car has one of the most luxurious cabins of any modern car. You can see beautiful soft touch plastics, this beautiful Alcantara, this strip of aluminum here with the ambient lighting, the metal handle here, stitch leather, everything is really high quality except for the speaker cover on the tweeter on the rear door is just super cheap hard plastics. I mean, look at that fit and finish. It's just really out of place. It's just very weird that, yeah, we're going to spend all this money on this, these beautiful, expensive materials. But here we're going to go and find the cheapest plastics we can ever look at look at that fit and finish it's terrible we're going to find the cheapest plastics in any car and just place it there and again this is the only place in the whole car they have this cheap plastics i don't know where they did it that's just super weird another strange thing about this car is the center console area here and it's just a big hole i mean it's it's, it's just weird it's it's a big hole and then you can open up here to reveal some cup holders. But yeah, other cars do it differently. And then it's open here. It's just, I think they've had had an opportunity here to make something really cool, some practical storage. But even if this was a bit higher, it would be more practical because it's just so low down. And then you have also a wireless charging pad here, which just works not good at all. I'm going to show you guys with my phone here because you have to have your phone faced away from you and while driving it's just really hard to uh, to 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 feel out where this is and then if you don't place it correctly because you're not you're sitting here not looking you have to bend your head over here to to see where your phone is placed and you have to fiddle it around to see that it's finally charging that doesn't always work. Yeah, the center console here is just, it's just very weird. They could have done this much better. Another weird and quirky thing about the Audi e-tron is the fact that this has a four spoke steering wheel. I mean, when was the last time you saw a four spoke steering wheel in a luxury car? I mean, you see two spokes and then you see three spokes, but I can't remember the last time I saw a four spoke steering wheel and I actually love it because while driving on a motorway, you like to just resting your hand here at six o'clock is, is very comfortable. So I like the fact that you it, it has a four spoke steering wheel because it's just more comfortable to use in, in daily operations than a three spoke steering wheel. But what is very weird is that this car has auto steer. I mean, like lane centering auto steer, like pilot assist in Volvo or uh, autopilot in Tesla. And it works very nicely. It's, I mean, it's one of the best systems out there. But instead of having a sensor that's built into the steering rack or into some kind of steering software, this car has physical steerings on the steering wheel. And they are here at nine o'clock and at two o'clock or nine, 10 o'clock and two o'clock or nine o'clock and three o'clock around here. So if you have auto steer on and you ha are holding your hands here, it will tell you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. If you hold your hands here, it will tell you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. And if you put your hands up here, it will tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel. If you're more active with your steering, it's fine. But if you're passive and you want to do th let the car do the, the steering, you have to hold your hands here. And that is super annoying because the auto steer works exceptionally well on this car. And another consequence of having sensors here is that you can't get this car with a heated steering wheel if you have it equipped with adaptive cruise control with the auto steer. And that's just 
very strange in 2020. So there you go, guys. Those were 10 things that were, some things were annoying, th some things are weird, and some things are just strange and quirky about the 2020 Audi e-tron Sportback. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.